A Texas inmate executed tonight in Huntsville for killing a teenage girl more than 20 years ago. And about an hour before that execution, the family of a Bastrop County death row inmate called on Governor Greg Abbott to put an end to all executions. Patrick Perez has more. Inside the state penitentiary in Huntsville at exactly 6.47 p.m. Wednesday, 48-year-old Larry Swearingen died by a lethal injection from the state of Texas. His last words, Lord, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. In 2000, a jury convicted Swearingen for abducting, raping, and killing 19-year-old Melissa Trotter. Swearingen had maintained his innocence, and his lawyer, James Riding, says Swearingen did not kill Trotter. We have legitimate forensic science, medical examiners, whose reports exonerate my client. Riding challenged a murder weapon and how long Trotter's body was left in the woods. He says the case was based on junk science. Texas justice is alive. Larry Swearingen must not die. Outside the governor's mansion in downtown Austin, about an hour before Swearingen's execution, family and supporters of Rodney Reed called on Governor Greg Abbott to issue a stay and to put an end to all executions. It gets under my skin when we have people willing to sacrifice somebody's life when all avenues have not went down. Roderick Reed says Swearingen's case reminds him of his brother Rodney Reed's case. The Bastrop County man is on death row for the 1996 murder of Stacy Stites. In both Reed's and Swearingen's cases, Roderick cites a lack of evidence that should have exonerated both men. An injustice to one is an injustice to us all, and there's been an injustice in Mr. Swearingen's case. As Rodney's family fights to free him, the clock is ticking. His execution date is set for November 20th. In Austin, Patrick Perez, KVU News. Texas is one of 26 states where the death penalty is still legal. Right now, there are 227 prisoners awaiting execution on Texas death row. Four of those inmates were sentenced to death by Travis County juries. Williamson, Hayes, and Bastrop County juries have each sent one inmate to death row. They're awaiting execution dates. So far this year, the state has executed four inmates. Eleven executions, including Rodney Reed's, are scheduled to take place by the end of the year. Since 1973, Texas has executed 563 prisoners, more than any other state.